what the heck is going on guys welcome to your 21st Ajax tutorial and in these upcoming videos what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you guys a detailed understanding of the XML HTTP request object now this is the object that's at the heart of pretty much every Ajax program and before I showed you guys how to use it you know pretty much how to set up your functions but there are a lot of things that I didn't cover because I wanted to give you guys a quick taste and now you can you know maybe look at a program and figure out how it works but instead of just you know copying me I want to give you guys an understanding of why each piece works because then you know first of all your brain is going to be jam-packed with tons of useful information and you're going to learn how to create a program that you want to create from scratch instead of just you know copying mine so that's what I want to do and all this program is going to do is it's gonna read a text file and spit it out on the screen but I'm gonna be going over everything in detail so this example it's gonna look stupid and you would never use a program like this on your real website but more importantly you're gonna learn concepts that are gonna make you an Ajax Pro so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I wanna do is well of course I created three files I already typed all the basic HTML for this one my JavaScript file has nothing in it and my text file has nothing in it and by the way I named them all bacon bacon HTML bacon JavaScript bacon text so now what I want to do is explain to you guys how this program is gonna work the first thing we're gonna do is we're pretty much gonna go to a website on the internet so as soon as we go to the website we're gonna see like okay um, you made it this far so if we see this then we know that we are connecting or we are connected to the server we didn't run any Ajax yet but at least we're connected to the server so that's why I want to type that long line right there after that let me just go ahead and add a break and then I'm gonna add a div and this div of course is gonna be where all the cool Ajax stuff is happening so go ahead and set this ID equal to the D and save that so this is basically the only thing that we need to you know set up this HTML file so this means we're connected with the server and this is going to be where the Ajax is happening so right now it's just going to be blank so actually let me just go ahead and upload all this crap to my server right now and if we refresh it we see that did I save that? I didn't even freaking upload it refresh enter okay it's uploaded now now let's go ahead and refresh and it says okay you made it this far so as we can see we are now connected to the server step one freaking complete nice but now let's go ahead and work with the Ajax part because you know that's what we're you know kinda of focused on so in the text file that we're gonna read and this text file is gonna sit on your server it's just gonna say you can have it actually say anything just put like holy crap or carp whatever this actually worked so if we see this and guys this is all you need to type in the text file just type anything you want if you see this then our program ran successfully so of course nothing should show up if I upload it to the server now we need to do all that through Ajax so now let's get to the heart of it it's been three and a half minutes and <laughs> you know most of it was just me rambling but now let me go ahead and teach you guys basically how to set up every Ajax program and not just how to set it up but why to set it up the way you do so the very first thing that people do and this is kind of you know not my way but this is standard across the Ajax community is you want to create your Ajax object now you just don't go ahead and set it equal to you know something and you can't do this because different browsers create the object in different ways so go ahead and name your object I'm just gonna name it XML HTTP create so basically you name your object and you set it equal to the function that's going to return the object for you so this helps you know clean it up a little bit helps clean up your code and organize it properly so create XML HTTP request object and guys this is basically the only time you have to create this function this one time the rest you can just go ahead and copy it and paste it or if you you know are creating a big uh, program and you want to use like uh, like uh, classes or anything you can do it but anyways that's uh, you know kinda of getting advanced so function and if you think I'm gonna type this all again you are wrong 
So the cool thing about JavaScript is we don't have to explicitly, you know, say what return type, and we also don't pass any parameters because it doesn't need any additional information. So this function is basically going to be responsible for creating and returning the XML HTTP request object. And remember, this is the object that works in the background to communicate with your computer and the server. So, like I said, the very first thing we want to do is we want to create a localized variable of this. So XML HTTP, and this pretty much means that we're using um, the local instead of this global right here because we want to do this because this function is going to work with this and 